Thank you for using the hydronic specifier. We're going to go over general program usage in this video so you can utilize all of the specifier's features. For assistance with making selections in specific product lines, please view the product line selection videos. The first step is always creating a job. Jobs are used to organize your selections for easy reference. You can leave notes for yourself and set bid and due dates here as well. Once you save a job, you'll be taken to the product selection tab. If there are multiple product lines available, you can choose between them on this row. After saving selections, your chosen units will appear in the items tab. Selections are separated by product line on this row if multiple ones are available. You can edit saved items by clicking on the pencil icon. You can also delete items by either clicking on the garbage can or by clicking on the checkboxes for the items you want to delete and pressing delete selected items. You can create a report as well by selecting items and clicking get report for selected items. Lastly, you can create a submittal by clicking on this button. Submittals are packages of both company provided documentation as well as generated documentation based on your job. Submittals can combine multiple product lines into one package. You can change your company's info by clicking on the Change Address Slash Logo button. Here you can enter relevant information that will appear on generated documents, as well as a logo for your company. It's a good idea to adhere to the recommended logo image dimensions as larger images are likely to cause formatting issues in generated documents. Click the checkboxes in the top right to add generated documents. Drag and drop company documentation from the job related documents box to the my submittals documents box to include them in your submittal. Double click any item to preview it in a new tab. You can also upload custom PDF files by clicking on the select button to choose a file and then upload PDF. When you've finished, you have two options. You can click on Combine All Documents at the bottom to convert all your selected documents into one PDF. When the program has finished processing, you can click on Get Combined Documents, which will open the generated PDF in a new tab so you can view and save it. One thing to keep in mind is that this method will not include any Excel documentation. To download Excel documentation, simply double-click it and the file will be downloaded to your computer. Alternatively, you can click Email Links to your email address to have the specifier send you an email with a list of direct links to all of your chosen documents.